was so odd. Don't say wait. Don't. I was wondering what the HD on it was. Are Don't they all individual waiting. heads? Oh. Okay, let's see. Um, I drank all the beer. The creature is helpless for one round before it will wake up. Uh, Shalalu says, strike now with all your might. Um, uh, like Coup de Gras helpless? Yes, Coup de Gras. Oh, that is so awesome. So, Quadrule, you are up next. Wow. Full round action. I do have a full round action. Uh, I have no idea. You automatically you hit. Double damage. damage. Score a critical hit. You score a critical hit, so roll okay. your critical damage. Of this. Wow. Cool. Don't forget plus one from the prayer. Uh. Wow. Seriously. Uh, I'm gonna make it an elemental fist, too. Okay. Uh, and I'll make it fire. 32 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it must make a 42 for DC 42 fortitude save or it dies. <laughs> wow. Alright, it, it might make this. I'm joking, it won't. But I <laughs> 26. Wow. It dies. You uh, split. <laughs> you come down. You jump up. You hit the body of the Hydra. It, it kind of falls away off the boat. Can I sinks. come away with a bone? Like some trophy? No, it sinks to the... You, if you want to swim. No. But, uh, go after it! Why, why? I'm not yeah, silly, yeah. are you kidding me? <laughs> no, no, but I'm, I'm not joking. I'll tie a rope. I think you should go after a trophy. I want a trophy, but... It's a goddamn Hydra! I just... I, I would think I'd put my hand through him at that point. Maybe get a rib bone on the way out, but... Tango reluctantly agrees, you know. This is too good to let pass at the bottom of the... Duncan water. says... Well, let's get out of here, folks. As yeah. he starts, like, I, uh, I would like to politely remind the rest of the party about the time we had Quadro tied to a rope and we had him swim up to a fish or a, up to a like a turtle that was in a fucking helmet. It was a crab. You call that? Where I almost drowned to death. Kill Hollum Tilly, sober. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember that. I just want to put that out there. We, so, did, the, we did the hey, let's have the half orcs with, swim. Without a once. word to to tangle, Coral <laughs> oh, takes his go. flask. Just. Drinks it and, and goes back uh, goes back to his railing and continues to vomit. <laughs> Tangle just glares at him and walks away. <laughs> Roxas is gonna flex his muscles a bit and he's gonna curl up and go to sleep. Quad was a little disappointed. That's crazy. Disappointed. I'm, I'm pretty happy with her. I mean, that's awesome. I'm glad we brought her along. Uh, Roxas is gonna go thank uh, Shalalo and Quadrule. <laughs> <laughs> She's all fangirly. She's like, wow, that was awesome. She's yeah, goes, dude, that, that, yeah. that is so funny. Just nice fun. one, Matt. Nice one. <laughs> you, you know, I I had them all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you go back to puking off the side of the boat. And wow. Shalalo is pleased with, um, you know. Dude, that was a good battle. Yeah. Holy shit. Is it? Was, is, has anyone got Tangle says? Has anyone got something for the dwarf? Anything? Healing potion? He's a cleric. He can take care of himself. I don't know Show how well feelings. you can pray and vomit better. at the same time. Uh, 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 in, in all seriousness, where where Tangle's standing at, I'm gonna cast silence. silence. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I I understand it's not well. Tangle silent? Wow, that's gonna be hard to roleplay. Actually, uh, uh, Tangle, uh, how long? You just have to step left? outside of the square. Well, no, if it's cast on her, she doesn't it go with her? Oh, but it's also a burst that explodes, right? Correctly. Right. It, it's anything. If there's a will save to save it, and uh, I, I mean, it's kind of joking. Yeah. Um, all right. So you got you do that, no, and everyone's it, like, it. "What the hell?" Yeah. They so, uh, so Tangle, roll a will save. Okay. You only got to beat 15, so. All right. The zone moves wherever Tangle goes. So there's a... The uh... next, um, like, next minute? Or yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a minute. It's going to be a minute. All right. Yeah. So 
Uh, you can't see me, but Tangle just starts mouthing. You can't even hear yourself. God, you can't move your mouth? No, you can, but like yeah. you, they can't yeah, hear you. Yeah, she just starts so. mouthing, and she's just throwing her hands up in the air, and then she stomps her foot as hard as she can on the boat, and she goes walking off this way, just <laughs> muttering, totally pissed. Yeah. Just like, what? And now silence has fallen. Yeah, finally. <laughs> um. Girl continues to puke in peace. <laughs> Tangle's sitting over here, just mumbling, and silence is coming out. She looks totally upset. You're silenced. <laughs> 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 all right, um, all right. Silence is over. The uh, the Duncan thinks he goes. I think I should maybe stray to the shore a little bit closer. Uh, Roxy uh, says, "I'm think that would be a good idea." Yes, yeah. Nightblade. The Hydra is dead. Uh, I'm, very very cheap thing, but whatever, you know. <laughs> uh, just you wait. I figured out a way to make color spray useful again. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh. You need to be an oracle to do it, actually. What do you think, Triss? We won. Yeah, kitty. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. So she goes. I only had uh, one one of those arrows. Shalalu says, the others are just plain sleep. Arrows, which don't wouldn't work on that. I only had one slumber arrow. Roxy says, "Well, considering we were the circumstances, it was probably best that he used it." You know, considering the circumstances, we could have been on horse. <laughs> Roxy says. Given the way the universe tends to work with us, that would have been a dragon on land. Rather find a dragon on land than a hydra. <laughs> um. All right, so you guys make it the rest of the way. Nice. Uh, Duncan says, "Well, that was quite an adventurous uh, travel there. I don't think I want to see that ever again." Marcy says, uh, just, uh, make sure the Lord Mayor, uh, you give him a nice bill. Oh, I'm going to stay here in Turtleback well, Ferry for a little while. I don't want to go anywhere for a little while. Fair enough. Um, Understand, uh, though, that uh, the Mayor had generously said that any damages sustained during the voyage, he would <laughs> happily pay for. And uh, if anyone questions or anything, uh, just make sure... You say Coral Davarok had said so. <laughs> okay, very nice. Uh, let's do this. Ah, stop it. All right, you are at Turtleback Ferry. Oh, a very quaint little town. Turtleback Ferry temples. Nice lake. I'm gonna I'm gonna make make some uh make some rounds just to see what's going on in town and what happened to the uh they might know what happened to Fort Radden. Well, and... it, actually, it, what is the state of the town? All right, the town is a village. Um, real quick, very very small. Um, da -da -da -da. to be honest with you guys, I uh. Just kind of talking afterwards as Coral's back on dry land and his mind is working again. Um, this could be a very good reason as to why nobody's heard anything, at least in sea contact. You've got a Hydra who's sitting somewhere in the river there. Oh, oh. Let's see here. Obviously not. Uh, probably more, but I... Alex, can you uh, put your headphones on by chance? Please. Por favor. Nice. Alex, you need to buy some new headphones. <laughs> he's froze up. And Alex is all a frozen scowl. up. He's, hey. he's like, oh, fucking guys, they want me to put on my... <laughs> on, my on my screen, he's scowling. It's funny. But, yeah. no, I mean, I I would guess that's a major reason. I don't know how common hydras are. I'd, I'd expect not, <laughs> not very. No, yeah. not very at all. Oh. And so I, uh... it's a... It would be a good reasoning, at least. Just, I, I don't know what's on the land path, but at least for the water path, should be clear for some time. Um, are you, are you, who are you saying this to? Uh, 
Uh, just the party. Just, oh, now okay. that I, I, I'm waiting to be back on land, and uh, did did Duncan recognize what it was? He goes, I have to look like a big snake thing with a lot of heads. <laughs> um, I asked. Yeah, I mean, you guys told Shalalu. him. But... I asked Shalalu if this is the furthest east, east she's been. She goes, huh? Please. Is all she responds. Has Duncan heard legend or or any talk of that before? No, never. Uh, interesting. It was a randomly generated monster, Kevin. No, nah, no, nah, it wasn't. It was guarding the path. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Mm -hmm. The thing was stopping all communication between. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yes, metagaming out of game, yeah, I you can say it was. But... I just want to make sure you remember he said that. That's uh, all. No, I no, no, but this is. But it, but it's an irrelevant point. That, yeah. uh, I no, I mean, I absolutely remember that he, he said that, but but the fact for, for our group, we know that they haven't made contact with this town. We were specifically yes. sent here to come up with that. On our way, a Hydra attacked us. That's 100% the reason in Karal's mind, at least by water, yep. why there's been no contact. Whether or not it's random, randomly generated or not is completely irrelevant. It's... The statistics of us getting attacked by a hydra, by a monster that Duncan has never seen before, sure. I'm, are I'm far far. So, uh, no, that's 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 100 percent the reason. That was um, we've yeah. we've at least cleared up the sea passage. That's right. Yeah. Um, Save the day. And actually, I mean, what what's interesting, out of game in game, uh, Carol was very hesitant about the town. The town itself is is something something's wrong with it the town is fine this is the reason that nobody's ever been you know nobody's going here is that a, a goddamn hydra is stopping at least water contact god knows what's on the land but at least for water um all right so, so as you're entering turtleback ferry is very gloomy indeed um seems the rains have come early this year dampening the settlement Settlement's already gloomy spirits. Is there a, uh, is there a bar out. right there at the docks? Is there a what? A bar? Bar? Tavern? A tavern, yes. Heading in and, uh, how's the beer? <laughs> the, what beer? What beer? How's, how's the, the beer, beer at the tavern? Is How's, it, how's oh. the quality of it? Um, not very great. <laughs> it's a small town. That doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's how much quality you want. It's, how much? How much love you put into the your uh, the 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 guy behind the bar. You you're asking him how's how's the ale, and he goes, to be honest, it's not my best batch. There's been troubles recently. My hops have taken a plunge in quality. I, I do love a good hoppy beer. Uh, what kind of troubles are you talking about there? Uh, and sir, I'm sorry. I've had a, a long voyage. I'm I'm Corral. Ah, oh. oh, it's very nice to meet you, Corral. My name is. Let's see. Where did you go? You went to Turtleback Ferry. Trying to find. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, Alex is back. Fantastic. All right. Um, it's not really. It's called Bottoms Up. The tavern <laughs> is a uh, is Good. owned by a, a gal gallerless halfling couple. He goes, "My name's Yads, by the way," and he has a fairly deep voice for a halfling. Oh, that's a little head. Oh, is Alex back? All right, he goes cool. all yeah, sorts right, of trouble. You know, it's 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 interesting enough. I I came from a uh, mag Mary magma. Sorry, um, Magnamar, Magmanar. And uh, <laughs> to be honest, it wasn't it wasn't that bad getting here. I I'm a little bit concerned that 
what what news from from there? They had said that you know nobody's getting here alive, and <laughs> I mean at least for me, it was more of Fort Rannick that they lost contact from. Oh, Fort Rannick. Okay. That uh, and Turtleback Ferry is the way they get uh, messages but people out. Into Turtle. Okay. So. Uh, but people have been to th communication at least in that regard has been. Upheld. I mean, there hasn't been a whole lot to be honest. Um, no, there hasn't. Okay. Um, he goes. As far as things being off in the region, well, livestock's been going missing for months. More recently, the number of hunters and trappers have gone missing as well. And our small village of roughly about 430, 430 people. Every loss is felt very keenly. Absolutely. Um, you, you guys thinking orcs? You thinking goblins? Ah, well, around here, there's a... Uh, you know, a lot of ogres around these Ooh. forests. As, but I mean, that's not. There can't be o o ogres this close. Obviously, well, it, so it's got to be something else. I mean, it, it is odd times, my friend. We've uh, <laughs> clearly, uh, just looking at you, you, you've definitely heard tell of your share of story. Um, you, you think has anyone? Has anyone local at least talked about ogres? No, no, no but, one. No one. Oh, oh, come on, come on here. No, uh, we haven't heard any tales of y ogres. I just, it's kind of a logical step because uh, in the Ashwood and Santos Forest, there's ogres abound, but uh, I wouldn't think so much so close to home there would be ogres. So that's just speculation by me. Yeah. You know, you know what, friend? The, the beer, it, it's not the worst I've ever had. I enjoy. It. In fact, I think it's as good for this single, this single beer, to be at least worth five gold pieces. Especially with some information as to who in town. I'm gonna be honest with you, friend. The group. I don't know if you, you saw me come in with anyone. Um, we're, we're looking to make a name for ourselves. We're looking to really. <laughs> If there's ogres in the area, or if there's something, that, that'd be huge. So, you, you got a hunter. I, you're, you're a bartender. I, I understand you don't pass judgment, right? Because I get that, and I respect that. Who's who's crazy Tom in the village that everyone's crazy? You know, everyone thinks he is, <laughs> but, but you know he's got a little something up there more. You, there's got to be. Five gold for this beer, my friend. You right. see. He uh, he looks at that song. So I can tell you what's re happened recently. Most Absolutely. recently, ah, uh, we had a pleasure barge sink. Just just sink. It, I'm so glad it's gone because it took so away so much of our business, owned by the uh, they called the lovely lady, uh, Lady Lucretia. Uh, she owned it. Oh. It was it was interesting on our way here, um, at least from what a friend of mine has said. I I haven't heard of it. There's a beast called a hydra. You ever hear of that? A hydra, mm. only yeah, in no, the no. tales of old, my friend. Now now it was interesting. Um, it looked at our boat and went back to the waters. I think. Well, <laughs> you look at me. You look at us. It it did look it did look a little injured, a little beat up though. Do um, you think? Was it headed towards Magmanar that 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 the boat potentially? You think that might that might be it got into a scuffle there? That could be anything, I suppose. Well, was it headed that direction? Ah, uh, no, it just it just mm -hmm. stayed out outside of Turtleback Ferry in the Bay Area, the Clay Bottom Lake area, and they just cruised the areas and uh, they gambled and. No. Pleasured themselves and had other people pleasure them, I suppose. There, there's a lot of people that completely lack discipline, and you know what? You know what the worst part about those pleasure cruises are? Name one bartender on a pleasure cruise. You can't. You can't ever, can you? Because nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. It's a once and done type of deal. That's why I respect men like you. Honest tavern uh, folk, I am. Absolutely honest tavern, and. <laughs> You're gonna punch me, and if, <laughs> if you want to, I will. I saw your wife. <laughs> my, my God, 
If you want to punch me, you can, friend. I, I just... I've been high and low, oh, and God. I've I've never seen something that looked. You know, you know what? I, let let me stop here. You, you, you want a free punch, sir? I, I'm. Yeah, was, no, I take that as a compliment. She's a fine looker, indeed. So, <laughs> What's it? Coral no <laughs> Quattro notices that Coral's starting to get a little drunk. And... Oh no, God! It, this is this is. Doesn't know if he needs it, saving or not, but he's it, just gonna watch with some. It, uh, this is and... this is my people. Um, so, so what what troubles in the area beside the pleasure barge? That that's not really troubles for folks like you and me, to to fuck with them if I say you know. All right. Um... Let me see here. Other thing. Well, there's a... Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, he goes, well, there's something strange I thought's been going on. It's been a few weeks since we've had a visit from the Black Arrows up in Fort Rannick. I'll be the first to admit that they're not a friendly lot, but they do a good job keeping the ogres and critters in the woods and hills under control. Hope nothing has happened to them. Roxy says, ask, uh, who exactly are the black arrows by the way a friend of mine Roxy traveling uh, with us uh, no. they're, they're, they're just a guard up in Fort Rannick a very good disciplined bunch usually <laughs> not great for business discipline but you know. <laughs> you know they're they're not friendly but they they're they're very battle capable and if anything's gotten to them I can only wonder my my friend you know what you know what the best part is here and uh, we, I, I appreciate the information. Part of the problem, is, as as you might expect to know, we're we're a little bit hit up for a place. Do, do you got any extra lodgings here? That we we need we have a horse. We we do need the horse. Yes, the horse to needs to be properly stabled. With a, a look back on Tangle, <laughs> Ro like, Roxy's like. Roxas is like, funny how nobody mentions the giant tiger that's in his head. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Roxas in it's, there? Because it's yeah, just no, a five-foot door. He's probably sleeping outside. Yeah. There's no, I, like, double doors in this area. I mean, he can squeeze <laughs> through, obviously, but... I mean, it's it's a, um... To be honest, I, I think you can appreciate it. We're, we're looking to just make our life through here. We're, 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 fairly, we're fairly simple folk. Uh, we're, we're called the Fists of Davarok. Have you ever heard, we are? Have, have, have you Tingle heard of says, us? Tingle looks around in confusion. Quadro <laughs> overhears it, snarls just a little bit, but he's okay with it for right now. If he gets some free lodging, now, whatever. Pitch it. He goes, whoa, I, this is only a tavern, my good friend. We just. I don't we just have any rooms here. I can give you a good word if you go to the turtle's parlor. That's the innkeeper over the, the, yeah. the, That's the inn over there. You know I'd prefer to stay at a place. I, and to be honest with you, the more I drink here, the beer's not not bad. I, in, well, in fact, I suppose. There, there is some love put in it. Do, was this a little bit of your wife's craft as well? <laughs> Tell me it was a little bit of her craft as well. <laughs> Actually, she does... At least eighty percent of the work on this beer. You know, it, it it's a funny thing that most most great brewers you think of are always meant, but but goddamn if if the women aren't the brains behind it. Am, am I right? Am I right? Ah yes, he gives a he gives a slide. <laughs> yes, that's possible. And Tangle steps forward and says, "Speaking of women and brains," and then she looks at the dwarves and then she says, "I have a question to ask you as well." The horse is taken have care we... of. Don't worry about it. And she ignores the dwarf and she says, uh, I, I'm wondering, besides ourselves, who I'm sure we are rather <clears throat> unique travelers to your world, I'm also wondering if anyone else who is not of the local population has been in any other strangers come to town recently, let us put it, put it that way. Not oh, really many strangers recently, but uh, it, to answer your answer you, Carl, he goes, I suppose I can clear out the brewing room and throw down some some uh, 
some mattresses in there and make it, you know, livable. But that's really the only room I have. Tangle says, where's the inn again? That's just across the street. Thank you very much. You friends with you friends with the innkeeper? No, no, she's not yet. No, no, I, I meant is the bartender friends with? Oh, me? um, oh yeah, uh, he's a human lad. Uh, you know, <laughs> I it, this is gonna be a tough. Deal. We aren't. We aren't the richest folk. But, I mean, <laughs> you, you saw the two ladies that I traveled with. Mm-hmm. They've right. got... They've got incredibly expensive taste. It's all my friend here and I can do to satiate it. But they're... They, they are great company. I, I will Fre- charge you anything if you... If you if you want to stay here. But, uh... That Sestin Orlandi over there at Turtle's Parlor. He'll try to rob you of your gold. If you show up and try to buy so, a room so, there, so, so, what's the locals, Pasco? What, what's? Come, come on, friend. What's? How do I make sure I get a fair deal there? Who, who do I say I know? What just, do, what just do I... say that you know Yads and Berthandi. Yads and Berthandi. Yads. We're friends, or we're uh... you, that you are very well known by us. Thank you very much. Well, uh, yeah. Let me uh, let me uh, finish another brew, and uh, we'll talk. Um, yeah, just shooting the shit right. stuff. Uh, nothing really conversation-wise. If you you guys are, you know, more than likely, um, in Carol's mind, of if we all reconvene. Um, I may end up sleeping here. I don't. I don't know. I I, I just want to make sure we're we're not too too big on attention. I don't. I don't want to draw a lot of attention to us as these big rich heroes. <laughs> Roxy, Roxy says, "I'm kind of damned in that area." <laughs> She's just kind of sitting there with her 21 charisma and her giant tiger. Well, you're you're <laughs> you're gorgeous, right? I mean, but but last. Thankfully, you don't got a lot going up up here, so we're we're all good in that regard. Roxy rolls her eyes and she <laughs> says, ah, "Yeah, yes, I'm just a dumb blonde." Ooh. Well, oh, but it, it wasn't my words, but you know. She's like, "It's sarcasm, Coral." Uh, by the way, I just want to say hi Sarcat. to everyone that's just joined us. Um, hope you're enjoying. Hello, so everybody in the chat room. I don't think I've been there before. Is that is that further down the river? Where? Sarcasm. Oh, yeah, uh, totally. Matt, Tangle is looking around the room for Brithandi. Does she find her? Yeah, she's she's there. Um, you know, she's uh tapping some kegs. Okay, so she walks over and Tangle says, Hello, I understand that you're Brithandi. And she puts her hand out for, to be shaken. All right, she, sh- uh, she looks at you. Uh, you're an elf, right? Yeah, half elf. Half elf. She looks at you and goes, Ah, hello, half elf. Not too many um, of you running around here. It's only us halflings, gnomes, and humans. Uh, and the well, dwarf over there, too. Think not too much of our dwarf friend. He does enjoy his no, ale. No, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't discriminate. I'm very oh, happy God. to see. Well, uh, you have a lovely, uh, lovely place here. Bottoms up, you say it is. It's beautiful. Huh, yes. <laughs> well, I have a few questions for you. I'm wondering if if anything beyond what we've already been speaking of with your husband, I don't know if you managed over here, but we wondered if, uh, if anyone odd or strange has come through besides ourselves. And well, if you've heard any recent reports from the rangers up at Fort Rannick. Um, no, I have... We haven't had any contact with anyone in weeks, just local folk. I see. Well, thank you very much for your help. I'm sorry I could not stay at your lovely uh, uh, lovely tavern, but we'll go and I at least am going to get, try and get a room at the inn. And I appreciate your help. And then Tangle shakes her hand again and walks away. She's only just trying to find a little bit more information than, than Corral may have been able to find out. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's nothing... Um. 
She says there's some rumors going around. Oh, do tell, do tell. And Tango oh. leans in interestedly. Yes. <laughs> Heard a few months ago, before all these rains started, that some of the hunters who braved the valley of broken trees for boar found a bunch of enormous footprints. Giant sized footprints. It's bad uh, enough we've Roxy. got ogres, but if a giant's moved into the valley. Quadril's ears perk up because if you don't remember <laughs> fucking. How many sessions ago? How long have you been doing this? You were, the first session, you were like, hey guys, there's giants come to Sandpoint. We gotta watch out. Wait, wait. So Quadril's turning into the, the chocolate guy from SpongeBob. He's like, giants? Did you say giants? <laughs> giants? 